Hello everyone, and welcome to this session on data governance and data intelligence, where we look at how we can help organizations to become more data driven. My name is Chris Phillips. I run the product management team at Informatica for privacy, governance, and quality topics, and we'll be running you through this session today. Let's get started. Many organizations today aspire to be data driven organizations. That doesn't always quite fit with the reality. To be able to be data driven, they need to be able to combine accurate, relevant data, as well as their instincts and experience to get to the right results. However, whilst the majority of executives state that they want to be data-driven, only 30% of practitioners say that the actions are actually driven by data analysis. So what does that mean? That, you know, are people still taking decisions on not based on data or on inaccurate or old data? Are we still exercising our our gut instinct more so than our data analysis muscles. And, you know, why is that? We provided users with BI tools and started assigning data owners and data stewards. We've got documentation about what metadata exists and, and what's there. So, so what's missing? Well, the one of the challenges that organizations face is how do users find and acquire data? So the ability to deliver the data but also the ability to identify the data in the first place and get access to that data is getting harder. Um, so we need to be able to empower users to find, understand, trust, and access data in a kind of modern data sharing environment. And this is not just a one-off or single point of decision-making. Trustworthy data is needed throughout the processes, the, the reporting, the setting up new predictive models, whatever it might be. So how do we achieve this? Well, one of the things to pay attention to, one of the secret ingredients is around trust. And what does trust mean and how does it help us? It helps us, once we've got trust, it helps us use data better, provision data better, increase the confidence in the outcomes of the analysis that we do. So why is this important and how can we make that available to our users? Well, if we look at what Gartner says, you know, many organizations are attempting to do that. But only 15% will, according to their predictions, will succeed. And that's because getting to trusted data is easier said than done. Data intelligence is needed to help addressing the business needs. And data intelligence, there's an assumption that, you know, it's like business intelligence. Business intelligence gave us business insights. Data intelligence should give us data insights about our data sets. Now, the discipline involves a number of capabilities around governance, and catalogs, and uh, metadata inventories, and quality metrics, and lineage insights that all feed back into better management and trust of data assets. However, today, data intelligence is not delivering on its promise. So as Stuart Bond from IDC puts it, it's expected, but it's not being delivered. So what are some of the challenges with data intelligence that prevent it from being delivered? Well, even with many of the tools around, organizations continue to run into challenges. Slow data to supply chains. In many cases, cumbersome data supply chains or inefficient ones. Users continue to spend time on finding the right data and then kind of prepping that data for their use case rather than being able to get to the right data straight away and have simple delivery processes. Back to that trust piece, once they identify a potential piece of data, they have a lack of context. Who's using this data? What are the quality metrics? What can I use it for? And just rigid documentation approaches don't scale to, to the modern organization, right? The volumes are just too big. Is this the right data? Can I use this data for what I want it? All those questions often remain unanswered. And then, of course, data has risks associated with it. Many consumers still don't fully believe that their data is being used responsibly. What are we doing to ensure that people are using data sets in the right context? They're following the right data policies for privacy, for data sharing, for other pieces. And that's why we need data intelligence tools. But it's not just the tooling. It has to be linked to data delivery. Otherwise, it just becomes disconnected metadata 
manually stitched together or stitched together with workflows potentially but that doesn't deliver it doesn't provide recommendations to users it doesn't give them insight into the supply chain it doesn't empower people to engage with the data or at the end of the day drive the business outcomes that everyone's looking for so what you need is and what are the expectations from data intelligence are multifold data intelligence needs to unlock value by combining both the human inputs and, and values um, with AI ML. It's looking at a consumption first view to meet the business outcomes and business goals and not just get lost in metadata documentation. And it needs to be connected. It needs to be connected to the data to provide that context and trust of, can I use this data? Who else is using this data? Is this the right data for me to use? All those pieces I need to line up. And all of that we talk about in the context of what we call predictive data intelligence. Now, what does that look like? One of the things to note is that when we talk about predictive data intelligence, it starts with a data consumption point of view. Typical graphs of these nature to have you know, sources on the left, consumption on the right, but we really need to focus on consumption. And one of the key components to make that consumption work is the data marketplace. It allows users of data and producers of data to meet in one place, shop for data. They can understand what data is being used, what the context of the data is, and by being linked to the governance, quality, mastering, etc., capabilities that exist in the platform, provide the insight and trust that is required. It goes beyond that, and we use Claire not just to link it, but also to facilitate efficient data delivery, automated from consumer to final destination where the data is going to be used. Not only do we do that, but as these processes are running, we're learning from the patterns that are being applied in the application, in the organization, to be able to provide ever better predictions, recommendations, automations to the end users across the data supply chain. Now, the predictive data intelligence is powered by Claire. And Claire is, of course, Informatica's cloud native AI powered metadata intelligence solutions. And it provides a number of capabilities already glossary associations, data classification, sensitivity input, et cetera. And it helps organizations get started from day one with labeling, curating, and making data available for consumption. And over time, because we've got access to billions of metadata facts, we can learn from patterns and make that intelligence ever more appropriate for an organization and derive patterns that otherwise would not be visible. Now, Claire, of course, forms a central part of our intelligent data management cloud. It drives the intelligence across all the capabilities that we can see here, from cataloging to governance to marketplace, quality, MDM, and, and others. Now, let's have a look at some of the most important applications as part, typically talked about as part of predictive data intelligence. So it all starts with the consumption that we talked about, which is the cloud data marketplace. And this is the one-stop shop for all data consumption, for all consumers to browse, find, order, and request access to data, independent of where that data is stored, of how it's managed, et cetera. It provides the full context, provides insight into the meaning, data quality levels, as well as order fulfillment once I've requested access to the data. It's supported by strong governance and catalog capabilities that are unified across business and technical views that rely on the advanced intelligence that Claire provides, for example, to line up business and technical metadata quickly and easily. It can govern both business as well as technical views, and operate at scale. And finally, data quality to help provide that insight into what are the data quality levels that these different data sets have, but also then when they don't meet the expected levels, work to remediate the data and fix the issues or concerns and elevate the quality over time. Now, this combined approach based on IDMC, the Intelligent Data Management Cloud, allows us to automate end-to-end -end delivery. So the process starts, for example, with data consumers 
requesting data through the data marketplace. They've been able to find the data that they're interested in, and they've put in a request to get access to that data. Business and technical approvers review the requests, and let's say that they approve it. At this point, through IDMC, we can orchestrate the delivery of that data through use of application integration technology, through details that we get from the cloud data catalog on where this data physically exists, and potentially even through cloud in data integration, delivering the data to the right location, to the requested location for the user. This then gives us an end-to-end -end data value chain automated with trust, insight, and intelligence. Summing up, there's value in being predictive. There's value in predictive data intelligence. As we talked about, it helps drive data-driven approaches. It helps drive analytics and business outcomes, especially with a consumption-focused approach. We are able to realize the data value much quicker and deliver inherent trust in the data. Who's using the data? What are the metrics of the data? All-round view. And all of this is provided through one intelligent data management cloud platform, which is offered in a simple consumption pricing model. And of course, it's provided by Informatica in a cloud native way with proven results. Thanks everyone for your time today. I hope you find this session useful. And I look forward to connecting with you again soon on data governance and data intelligence topics. Thanks.